Most messenger apps promise you that your data is encrypted and therefore secure, but this might not mean that your data is private. Here's why. When messenger apps encrypt your data, they make it unreadable using your password. The only way to make it readable again is by decrypting it with the correct password. So if you forget your password, you lose the ability to decrypt your data, but you still have the option to reset it through the app. When apps reset your password, they decrypt your data and re-encrypt it with the new password you provide. This is not possible unless the app has a copy of your original password, in which case they have access to your encrypted data, which means your data is not private. So whether it be messages, emails, photos, or files, if these apps just say that your data is encrypted, it says nothing about whether they have access to your data. Ideally, these apps don't keep a copy of your password so that your data is private and only you have access to it. This is called an end-to-end -end encryption, which means only the end users have the password to decrypt their data. So when governments try to force these apps to surrender user passwords, they have no passwords to give. So I use a messenger app called Signal, which is end-to-end -end encrypted, and I know it's not lying because it's open source. It's also free, so I'll try it out with some friends and family and keep our conversations private.